there's where it's closed. Voila, open. And there it is. Doesn't that look great? And just for you haters, I'm sure somebody's gonna come along and say, yeah, but it doesn't work. Hold on, I'll show you in a second. It works. Today's video, we are going to replace this old outdated cigarette lighter with a new, more modern type of plug that we can actually use. Since I have a GPS and a, a smartphone like everybody else on the planet, I'm gonna opt for this dual USB plug. If you're having a hard time locating one, we have them. So this here is the one that I'm gonna use today. You'll notice that it has two jacks, one up on here on top, has a one amp, which I could use for a portable GPS system or a smartphone charger. Down below, the two amp, which you could use for something like a tablet or something that's gonna have more power requirements. That plug would be great for that one. So you can use not one, but two. And since most cigarette lighter plugs offer a 10 amp circuit to begin with, this is excellent. So I'm gonna show you how you can remove your old cigarette lighter and replace it with your new improved USB plug. I'd like to show you that with these new adapters that, you, that you're gonna retrofit your cigarette lighter jack with, there's a couple different ways that you can actually install these. One, you just put it in from the front and simply sandwich it in with this little doohickey. You can squeeze it right onto the dash, which is how I'm gonna install mine. Or, if you wanna actually keep your cigarette lighter plug for whatever reason, you can get something like this and you can install it like that and mount it up underneath the dash on the side or wherever else you have a need for it. So, just a thought. You're gonna to need to access behind your cigarette lighter. I mean, every vehicle is different, of course, I understand. Mine just requires pulling the console cover right here out, like so. And kinda jiggy it out. There you go. The two wires which you're going to use for your power for your cigarette lighter adapter. For this video, I'm just going to keep it real simple. So if your cigarette lighter is constant on, then it's going to be constant on. If yours is key powered, so that way when your key is turned on, this gets power and it's off when the key is off. That's just how it's going to have to be. If you have a question of wire colors or how to modify or change it, watch one of my other videos or shoot me a message. I'll be happy to help you out if I can. If you want to make this reversible, you do not have to cut off this plug. So in my case, I am not going to cut off my plug. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to connect onto these existing wires, which is reversible. So down the road, I can take this all back, put it back to stock. That's just the way I like to do things. I mean, if that doesn't matter to you, that's okay too. But for this tutorial, that's how it's going to go. With the plug access, you need to figure out which wires do what. So for this, you're going to need either a multimeter or test light or something like that. I'm going to use my test light. And you can just go into the plug and it should tell me everything I need. So there, I, my power. And over here is my ground. Pretty, pretty simple. And oddly enough, not that it's going to matter, of course, in your car. Murphy's got to get his piece, of course, you know that. Mine goes red to red and black to black. But in your vehicle, of course, that'll probably be, in most cases, totally different. So what I'm going to do now is attach these wires onto these. Mount this into this existing stock hole. Put it back in and I'm done. Okay, so wiring up, this is your USB charger should be a breeze. Just get in there and separate your two leads for your cigarette lighter. So you look something like that. So what I'm going to use is my T taps. Basically, what it looks like is something like this, and it's going to click onto the wire. You can see. It has a, a spot for the male spade to go onto it, and it has another area here for the wire. So it clicks onto the wire without damaging it. Then your male slides into it like this. So you have the wire here, and you have the new connection, which is why they call it a T tap. So you take it, go onto this wire here, which is my ground. Just take a plier gives you a little reassuring click to let you know that it's snugly on the wire. I'm going to do the same thing for the power lead. I've got my two males and I've got my cigarette lighter to USB adapter. 
How much length you choose to use, that's up to you entirely. This one here has a fuse in line, so I'm gonna make sure I leave it there. So I got a little bit, about a half an inch or so of wire there. Slide the mail connector on. And if you need this stuff, I'll be happy to throw you a couple for free. If you, if you come to the site and order it, we don't really mind. Otherwise, you're gonna to need to get these on your own. I'm just gonna simply crimp that on. I guess that's just the joy of having a friend in the business. We try to be that friend for people. And there you go. So there's my, my two leads here. Color to color. Can't get much easier than that, right? Even I can understand that. So black goes in there. Got my red to my red. This is my stock plug, which I'm just going to leave and bury behind the dash like so. So down the road, when the day comes when I get rid of this car and I get my 2016 Corvette, I can just pull this back out. Now you can see, there's my LED indicator Let me know that this is working. Beautiful, right? My wiring is done. All I gotta do is mount this into my stock spot. I'm, I'm good, baby. So I'm gonna pull these out right quick. I don't need this adapter cover, so I'm just gonna pull this off. You could do it, you could leave it, you could do whatever the hell you want to do, really, I guess. And you can see that this is not gonna fit. So we're gonna have to do a little work here. But that's okay, you can do that. If your car happened to be like mine, where the USB charger was a little bit larger than the hole, Easy fix, get you a Dremel, I just use a regular drill bit on high speed, and open it up a little bit. So now that I got my hole enlarged a little bit, you can see my USB plug fits in there ever so nicely. Look at how nice that looks, huh? That is nice, it's in there nice and flush too. But it does have, I mean if you want, you could do it a couple ways. You could. Leave it in there and you can put that back ring to fit it in there. But in my car, it'll be a little tough because I've got this little weird uh, piece inhibiting me. So what I'm going to think about doing is take some of this here rubber butyl. I don't know if you know what this stuff is, but this stuff is an installer's dream. And what it is, is kind of like, um, kind of like Play-Doh, I guess you'd call it, you know. It's nice and gooey and it sticks and it's, you could use this stuff to make grommets in cars, fill holes, um, cover drill hole stuff that squeaks, little all kinds of little problems that you have in your cars. You could take it. And you could just simply stretch it around like that. It's real pliable. And watch. And you slide it in there. It gives it just the right amount of snugness. You'll never have to mess with that again. Just look at that. Perfect. In the back, nice and clean. No hot glue, no burns. Don't have to bastardize all your plastic. This is, again, totally reversible. So, rubber butyl, again, we sell that on the site if you need some, if you just need a piece, whatever, reach out to me, let me know what you're looking for. Be happy to help you out. Gonna go finish installing this in the car by plugging in my device and living the good USB life. So nice. Look at that. So there's where it's closed. Voila, open. And there it is, doesn't that look great? And just for you haters, I'm sure somebody's gonna come along and say, yeah, but it doesn't work. Hold on, I'll show you in a second, it works. plug for my phone and there you have it charging baby nice so there you have it installed 